This is Oceanside, gateway to year-round recreation and relaxation. Bordering the Blue Pacific, located midway between Los Angeles and the border of Old Mexico, this carefree, sheltered community of 15,000 friendly folk is blessed with the languor of continual sunshine, combined with the ocean's gentle, cooling breeze. Beyond this beautiful site rests a thriving community of men, women, and children who work, play, and live in a sun-kissed paradise of the West. An air of excitement connected with the arrival of a train. Here in Oceanside, the arrival and departure of trains causes mixed emotions that stir in the hearts of those coming as well as those going. Let's follow this typical American family as they enter Oceanside. Mr. and Mrs. Sam Harris and their young daughter, Joan, are here from the east to visit their older boy, Jack, who is stationed at Camp Joseph H. Pendleton, which lies just 50 feet north of the city limits of Oceanside. It's been a long train ride, but all of the Harris family is eager to see where their boy has been training. It's only a short drive from the train station to the camp, so everyone assists with the baggage, and we're ready to travel. Side streets, like most of the popular Southern California resort cities, are lined with beautiful palms that lend an atmosphere of peace to the much-traveled roadways. Unlike many coastal cities, Oceanside has very few days or nights of heavy fog. A gentle ocean breeze plus plenty of warming sun rays make it desirous all the year round. This is the main gate of Camp Joseph H. Pendleton, the largest Marine Corps training center in the world. Here, Oceanside acts as a home for the boys away from home. Beyond these gates, many of the bravest and most decorated fighting men of our nation have learned the combat tactics that have aided in keeping our great country free from oppression and slavery. Today is an important one to Jack Harris, and there are many other sites of interest that he knows Mom and Dad Harris would like to see. Jack is planning on making Oceanside his permanent home after leaving the Corps, and there isn't anything that he wants his parents... Every thriving young city must have a civic center. This growing beach resort is fortunate in having a well-rounded civic center that is closely knit in operation as well as in location. The city hall, fire station, police station, city court, and public library, with their well-manned staffs and up-to-date equipment, make civic problems and city government function in smooth unison. One of Oceanside's most outstanding features is its park and recreation system. A wide variety of recreational activities are featured on each city and school playground throughout the summer months. In our community, the people of Oceanside have built, within the past two years, three of the most modern, well-planned, up-to-date schools on the West Coast. Here is attractive South Oceanside Elementary School. This is Ditmar Elementary School, where sunshine and health aid in the education of our youngsters. And there's North Oceanside School. And here's picturesque Oceanside Carlsbad Union High School and College, which overlooks the majestic Blue Pacific.
relieve the heavy traffic which flows through Oceanside, a $4 million divided four-lane freeway is being constructed around the outskirts of the town. This freeway will be completed early in 1952 and will provide even more safe driving in the community. Oceanside is justly proud of its many beautiful churches where people of all religious denominations worship in peaceful solitude. Here is another of the more than 25 different churches in the community which serve our people. Like most modern California cities, Oceanside prides itself on having a number of outstanding residential sections. Newly built Plumosa Heights, with its scenic view of the entire city and ocean, is thought by many to be the ideal site of our growing community. Literally thousands of new residents have caused the need for additional housing. This need has been answered by such sections as the Sterling Housing Project, which was constructed by the federal government and where some 900 armed forces personnel and their families reside. Many of the more permanent service personnel and veterans have chosen to build their homes in the modern South Oceanside section of town. This ever-growing area with its paved streets and green lawns has become the answer to many a newly married couple's lifelong dreams. In contrast to the more modern sections of town is this quaint, peaceful section known as St. Mallow Beach. Spacious French Normandy style homes afford truly gracious living. This residential section is frequented by many of Hollywood's most noted and talented figures. No growing community would be complete without a complete, up-to-date business section. Oceanside affords its local residents and thousands of out-of-town shoppers an opportunity to buy all items at reasonable prices. This fine business district stands on a par with any for its size. Banks, theaters, a city bus transportation system, two growing servicemen centers, large and nationally known markets, drug and merchandise stores, all combine in making this business section tops in the eyes of the Thousandside. One of the many fine restaurants in Oceanside is this attractive eating place where visitors and home people dine in a refreshing atmosphere of comfort. visit to Oceanside would be complete without a trip to the beautiful old Mission San Luis Rey de Francia. This king of the missions, as it is aptly called, lies but four miles east of Oceanside along scenic State Highway 78, which passes along many restful and productive miles of avocado orchards. This colorful landmark of early California lies nestled at the foothills of majestic beauty and is a site that is long remembered by its many visitors. Just an hour and a half of scenic driving distance from Oceanside finds visitors marveling at the magnitude and awe-inspiring beauty of the world-famous Palomar Observatory. Located 5,600 feet above sea level, this mammoth wonder of the modern era houses the world's largest telescope, which links man with the universe. A view through this magnificent instrument is a never-to-be-forgotten experience. 
Oceanside's most valuable recreation area is its multi-million dollar beach. Along this beautiful California beach site, thousands of tourists and visitors from outlying communities journey each summer for relaxation and entertainment. The tropical breezes and warm water aid in making Oceanside's beach popular for swimmers and surfers, as well as those who just are interested in the sun's relaxing rays. Featuring the longest pier on the west coast, more than 1,900 feet, Oceanside's many fishermen are enthusiastic about catches in winter as well as summer. The tram, which takes tourists as well as fishermen to the end of the pier, is another one of Oceanside's many conveniences afforded its visitors. Just another day at the beach for these youthful California surf riders who find Oceanside surfing comparable to any on the West Coast. At the end of the pier, deep sea fishermen travel daily to charter boats and barges where record-breaking catches have been recorded on many an occasion. Here is just one of the many catches taken today in Oceanside. After seeing the excitement caused by the return of the fishermen from the charter boats, the Harrises take time out to relax and review the many sights they have seen. And they, like thousands of others, have decided to make Oceanside their permanent home. Why not plan to spend your next vacation in Oceanside?